Trading the foreign exchange market carries high risk and may not be suitable for all investors trading on margin. Utilizing leverage can carry even higher level of risk that can lead to a complete loss of investment funds. So before deciding to trade the foreign exchange market or using any of our software alert products, you should carefully and diligently consider your personal investment objectives, level of experience, and risk tolerance. There is a possibility that you could potentially sustain significant loss. You should not invest any capital or trade that you cannot afford to lose. It is your responsibility to be aware of and understand all risks associated with foreign exchange trading and to seek professional advice from an independent certified financial advisor if you have any doubts. Avoria Prime does not exercise trading authority over your trades. You and you alone exercise discretionary trading authority over every trade. Hey, great to be back. Great to be back. It's 605, so it's officially started. This is not how this was supposed to look. All right. But you know, we're breaking into like the binary bust down things, trading strategies. So uh what's up? It's your cousin Cash. What's going on, man? It's great to kind of see everybody out there in the Zoom space. We're typically in the back office. Um so I'm gonna be honest with you. You guys know this is we family. So we're gonna talk like cousins to be all the way transparent. I wasn't gonna do a call. Um, I wasn't even slated to do calls. None of this week actually wasn't slated to do calls until the AP live rolled out. Okay. So to debunk some rumors that's going on. So this is how it goes. I'm gonna start the call off with uh, the biggest reason I'm actually fine. Thank you for everybody who's been hitting me up, wishing me well and to get well soon and stuff like that. But believe it or not, it wasn't me this time. I didn't get sick. Uh, so shout out to Jackie Panetta, Dante Lewis and Nate Williams. They actually the ones that got sick, man, but they've been holding down. Nate will be back soon. Uh, Dante was gone crushing the calls this morning as he does. Only Dante could like really make the early mornings so lit. Um, Jackie will be on tonight, I believe, or tonight, early morning ish. Um, so if she wasn't on this morning, like I, I kind of went to sleep hoping that she would get more rest, but we are definitely workaholics and me, I wasn't going to roll out until, uh, the AP live because of delay. Um, so I am on today because there's a lot of people that was reaching out saying, hey, Cash, man, when you get known, and I was telling them it was okay with it. But one, I missed you guys. And two, I felt like um, I'd rather do a disservice. I mean, I'd rather not do a disservice and trade with a 15 second delay, um, knowing that you guys are not sometimes I'm going to take the trade. Right. And so with that being said, it's super important that I be 100 percent transparent and opaque with you, because that's why we have such a great rapport. Um, wasn't going to do it into the AP live, um, but I sat down, I talked with the group and considering the fact that a lot of the group was actually out sick, I felt as though that it would be the right thing to do to get on and kind of run with things and make things happen. Um, but with that being said, um, I am going to try to bring as much good content as possible, but this is nothing compared to what you guys are going to get with the AP live. So sit tight, hang in there with me. And uh, by all means, let's go on ahead and get this ball started. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a couple trades and I'm going to answer any questions that you guys have. Um, and you guys can ask me questions. Let's set some ground rules. We family. So we're going to talk like cousins. You get disrespectful. I kick you out. It's real simple. Um, and for the most part, man, let's have fun. Um, like I said, I'll take some trades to kind of show you some of the things that I'm doing um but i really don't want to give away a whole bunch of sauce because it would kind of spoil what's going to happen when the ap live drop and trust me it's some big things happening um with ap live dropping all right so with that being said by all means if you have any questions drop them in the q a box um and if you want to drop any comments and or have any conversations while we are on Hey, drop me in the comments. Now, you guys know I'm more of a Discord guy. I'm not much of a Zoom guy. So bear with me as I try to kind of like really quickly remember how to use Zoom because I'm like really, really, really like sauced at it now. Like I'm like, ah, Zoom. Not a fan. I wasn't a fan before. I'm not a fan now. Let's go into the chat real quick. Ew, Cousin Cash, what's up? Hey, what's going on, bro? Uh, so Daver, man, it was great linking up with you, man. Um, I, I heard that you were sick, but I'm not sure if, if what I heard was true or not, or if I just got misconstrued information. So if you were sick or if you still are sick, man, get well, get better. Or if you were sick, I'm super glad that you are um, you're good. 
He said, healthy as a horse, my guy. So I'm glad that you're super healthy. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, Q&A here. Cousin Erica, what's going on? Um, cousin Erica said, when is the AP, um, when is the AP actually going to launch? So I have no idea. I'm going to be honest. I've, I found out recently that it was, uh, like I said, I wasn't going to take my calls or do any of the calls because I don't want to, I don't, you guys know we family, so I'm not going to do a disservice and be taking moves and stuff like that and trying to explain certain things to you. And it's not working out because you can't see it because it happened already. You're looking at the charts, man. If you could see some of the emails I got um, where I had to explain to people that it was a delay. Uh, so right now they are working on finalizing a few things uh, to make AP Live like the best that it could be. And man, I've seen some of the things that AP Live can do and it is amazing. So with that being said, I think that is 100 um, percent going to come within the next couple of weeks. Um, there was a delay, but um, it's worth the wait. Let me just say that. Um, so with that being said, let's just try to give them another week. Look at the gray patch. Oh, my God. So um, let's give them another week uh, to two weeks or so to kind of make sure they iron out all the wrinkles. Because what we don't want to happen is to roll out and a lot of bugs and things happen. And before you know it, there's a lot of complaints. We don't want that. So it's better to do the do something right the first time than to have to keep going back to the drawing board and figuring it out. So hopefully, cause that answered your question, because I am not exactly sure. Um, and I would like to say that this would definitely be great in the sense of being able to kind of hash out whatever. They, I mean, they have a lot coming. I mean, to turn a whole business like this. And so an actual social media definitely takes a little bit of time. So, um, like I said, let's let's kind of make sure that they they're good. Um, did they ever mention the increase of cost again? I'm going to be honest with you, because that is I, by me being an educator. It's only but so much information that I actually kind of get involved with. If, if I could be all the way honest with you. Um, I do believe they mentioned the increase in costs at the live event. Okay. Um, but do I remember the numbers? I do not. So I would definitely tell you because to get with your, your leader or get with your sponsor, they should have those. As you guys know, I don't have a AP team. Um, I, I am over the yellow squad typology. So shout out to them and um, shout out to the whole typology. Um, black squad, yellow squad, red squad, blue squad, shout out to everybody. But for the most part, I don't have an AP team. So I don't have, I'm I'm not a, a leader in that standpoint. I'm an educator. So um, uh, somebody said it's a $5 increase. Is this a great investment to make? Absolutely. Can I say hell yes on the, on the, uh, on the recording? I guess I can, right? Because it's my call. Hell yes. Yes, this is absolutely a great investment um, all the way around. What's up? What's up, Garrett? Garrett be killing in there. Shout out to Garrett that be killing in the bag chats. Um, so yes, in my experience, I believe so. Um, so and the reason why I think it's a good investment, guys, is personally, um, like let's let's talk arrow real quick and the investment that arrow, like what arrow really brings to the table. Cause like we could talk. I mean, if I'm gonna host a call, I gotta do it my way or no way at all, right? So to be honest with you, arrow is one of the few indicators that I actually use. Um um, and, and so with that being said, I have made a lot of money. A lot of you guys, a lot of people who's been on my personal calls, um, know that I trade binary 100% all the time, all day, every day. And so, um, I'm here to teach you guys how to run a small account into a big account using arrow. Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, arrow makes it super easy. Um, you can have trading view. You can have the best trading view plan there is. That's great. By all means, go for that. Um, you can have like years of experience. I personally have been trading since 2000. Um, so, and with all the years of experience that I do have, I've never run into a software that was able to make my job at least 40 to 50% easier. You know what I mean? Like, Sitting in front of a chart all day, if you don't know, you, I have a lot of kids, I have a wife, I am a whole family guy, right? Minus the Peter Griffin 
balls on his chin. But for the most part, um, I need the time. I need every bit of time that I can get. Um, so with that being said, I also push the narrative of working hard. But being in the charts, it can be addictive um, on either side, whether Forex or um, trading options. And so with that being said, I like the fact that Arrow saves me so much time that I don't have to stay in the charts. All I have to do is kind of uh, put Arrow on my MT4 or Arrow already comes with MT4. So I can get on Arrow. I can see what Arrow has already marked up for me. And since I'm using it and um, at a different <clears throat> broker as far as binary, I just wait for my bag entries. My bounce arrow goes. I get a valid bounce arrow go. I'm in the trade. And it's that simple. I don't have to do a whole bunch of anything um, extra. Like when I do markings in a chart, I'll do it actually on the broker, the options broker that I'm using, opposed to doing it on MT4. So by all means, like that's always a great thing. So that's why I would definitely say it's a great investment. And then if you're talking investment as far as an AP, then man, you got you got finely crafted expert advisors. Okay. So once you get your account up manually trading to a point where you can have it take care of itself, then you've reached the goal of having your money work for itself. And so um you have educators that genuinely care about people. The one thing I could say about Nate alone is that this guy, every meeting, um, in the most heated meetings to the most docile meetings, his focal point has always been you guys. And and I'm not one to like give people props because a lot of people genuinely don't deserve it, right? Um, but I can say that this guy has always been 100% about making sure that the traders and the customers of Avoria Prime gets everything that they deserve um, and gets the most for their buck. So if I wasn't an educator and when I wasn't an educator, I was a faithful customer and I still am. So hell yeah to that question. Um, your yellow squad, do you have a separate telegram group like the black squad? It's actually one coming. It is actually one coming. Um, so it's in the works. That type of stuff has to be finally thought out, honestly, because I, like I said, me personally, I'm more of a discord guy, um, but that's another conversation. Um, as far as the yellow squad and having a telegram, um, it's one in the works is one coming. I, I'm a big planner and executor. Um, and the reason for is because I like things to run smoothly and I like to bring as much content as I could bring to the table. So um, that's in the way that's in the works. How do you get arrow on PO trader? You don't, you have to run arrow on your MT4 arrow is um, locked behind a VPS, which is actually for your protection. A lot of people get in my inbox and they um, they, and they ask me some of the, the, the craziest questions to me. At one point in time, I thought they were really crazy questions. Then I, I figured out why I, I got a better understanding to why. And so it has nothing to do with forcing you guys to pay anything monthly, because at the end of the day, we're all adults and you're all going to do um, what is right for you and what feels good to you, what's natural to you. So for the most part, um, Arrow is locked behind a VPS because let's face it, there, this is a world full of people looking to hack, looking to do things um, bad for no apparent reason, right? And so what Arrow does, like what the VPS does is it protects you and it protects your funds, it protects you're trading. You don't have to worry about nobody being able to kind of just get in and hack uh, the, the software, hack your account or anything of that nature, because it's behind a very well a blockchain encrypted gate that doesn't allow it. Very impenetrable. It's going to take 12 years with modern technology to crack what this VPS um, is doing to protect you. 12 years. So if you think about it, by the time they crack it, you've been upgraded 12,000 times already. And so it's it's definitely for your sake. So I'm super glad to be able to use a product that has my protection. Uh, let's go into the questions. A, hey, how do you join the Yellow Squad? Um, it's real simple, man. Um, want to trade? The biggest requirement that I have to join uh, my squad, man, is wanting to trade. You have to want to trade. You have to want to trade. You can reach out to me um in a DM. 
I'm really picky about who I let into my team. I'm really picky about who I let on my personal calls and my groups. Um, but you have to want to trade. You have to be willing to help others. You have to be a human. You know, we're not here to just kind of do things for ourselves and only us. Um, as long as you have some, a, a strong form of humanity, then I can rock with you. But if you're a selfish person, then I love you because, but from a distance, um, social distance, in fact, keep that nonsense over there. Um, if you're not willing to help people, it's 21 people on this call outside of myself. And I'm on this call to be able to help every last one of you. And so that's the idea that I'm hoping that anybody, any one of you that want to be associated with me in any way, shape or form is here for. As you can hear, I barely have a voice. I still haven't gotten my voice back from Ride the Wave because I was supporting everything that crossed that stage. So with that being said, I, um, I'll be honest with you, that's the biggest requirement. Uh, Cousin Tramiel, if, if you're not a person that's that's practicing more of being selfless than selfish, then you wouldn't be able to join my squad because everybody in my squad is willing to help at a drop of a dime. And that's any squad. That's pipology, black, yellow, red, blue. That's just how we rock out. All right. So without further ado, let's go on ahead and uh, what's up, cousin? Cousin, uh, cousin Daniel said, what's up? Hey, man, try to make a dollar out of 15 cents. If I can, if I get the right trade. <laughs> All right. So um, like I said, this uh, this wasn't planned, but at the same time, it was planned. Right. Um, I knew I was going to have to hop on. Um, what's up, Kenny Green? What's going on? My guy. So what I want to do is I want to know who's all new to option trading. So I know exactly where to start at. If you are new to option trading, just go on ahead and drop me two on there. If not, then what I'm going to probably do is just hop on and um, I'm testing out some new strategies using Arrow. Um, so by all means, I'm going to be taking trades. I'm going to tell y'all now, I am definitely testing these strategies. This is something that's going to drop with the new um, with the new rollout. But a lot of people haven't been able to, they haven't been putting in the work um, to with the first strategy. So I'm going to tell y'all, like I tell my private group, if you are in my private group, you know what I'm about to say. If you don't learn the first strategy, you're never going to be able to move to the next strategy. So don't be upset if we're working on the same strategy. But the reality to it is, man, the goal is to get everybody moving and profitable, all right? If you're looking for signals, then I would tell you right now that I am big on education. So if I trade and you choose to trade, um, so be it. Really quick, I got to throw the disclaimer out there. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice to you. I'm nothing more than a financial educator. My job is to make sure that you have the information to be able to actually um, trade um, and, and know how to trade. Uh, what's up, T-Base? Um, actually trade and know how to trade and, and know what you're doing when you're looking at the charts. So with that being said, y'all already know what I'm about to say. If I take trades and you take some, I lose trades too, guys. I, I win way more than I lose, but that don't mean um, I don't lose trades. I don't have losing days or so. The goal is to win more trades than lose. So with that being said, don't be popping out your boy Pringle can. I'm trying to pop because once you pop, the fun don't stop. Don't pop out my Pringle can. Tell them some, hey, Cash, you got to try these sour cream chips, man. They're delicious. Hey, but while we're on, on a topic of chips, I took that trade with your brother and I didn't win. I need to know what's wrong, what the problem is, what's going on, because I'm going to put you back in that can. Then I'm going to stare at it for a while because it's like, how did you even fit in that can? Then I'm going to try to kick it 50 yards as far as possible. What's up, cuz? I see Cousin Pam in here. So I'm going to try to boot that can 60, 70 yards. You know what I mean? So we're going to do things a little different. Like I said, I'm about to hop in the chart, but this is what it is. If you have a question, what I am going to try, because I see some features on here that I want to play with. What I'm going to do is if you have a question and you want to uh, talk to me, I'm going to let you talk to me. I'm going to hit the button that says the louder talk. You just ask your question and I'll break down whatever I need to break down for you because it's a lot to kind of bounce back and forth. And y'all know I hate Zoom. I'm currently down trying to figure out how to share my screen. 
Hold on. Hold on. All right. Just uh, up and running here. See what we're looking at. Got to be more careful. Let's see. This might be it. Perfect. All right, so. Let me see if I can grab me a quick uh, count here. I know I got this, this this touch screen. Wasn't doing me good today. I said, man, I start having flashbacks. I start twitching. I'm like, oh boy, this again. All right. I start twitching. I'm like, man, every time my touch screen act up, I just think about that horrible, horrible loss. <laughs> and it's like, no, I'm that guy that I don't want to go to school. Like I just, I just wake up in cold sweats one time thinking about that loss. Goodness. I know they say that uh, judge a man by the character of his, uh, his losses and not his wins and, and pray that he has so few, but man, I was on I was on my own sideline judging. You got to be a damn fool. <laughs> what were you thinking? Look at this. If y'all see it in the camera, I'm getting teary eyed now. Think about it. God, sad day in the Robinson house. My last name ain't even Robinson. You feel me? So that was that's how you could tell that this was not exactly. All right, guys. So. I think I figured it out here. Let's go on ahead and share this screen. I think I did it. Do me a favor, if you can see my screen, man, drop bag in the chat. And I appreciate y'all for being so patient. I really don't use Zoom. Hey, y'all can see my screen, let's go. Let's go. Antonio with the book bag. <laughs> My God. All right. All right. So I get a lot of questions in my in my um, inbox on Telegram. And you guys know I love them. I love when you guys ask me questions because it lets me know that you are interested in what you're doing. Now, this sucks because there's no way for me to monitor what's on the screen, like what you can see, what you can't see. And that sucks because, you know. Whatever. So with that being said, guys, if you have any questions, go on ahead and drop them in the Q&A. If I see him or what you could do is you could drop bag in the Q&A and I'll find your name, click on you, and you can actually verbalize what it is that you want to say to me because we're family. We're going to talk like cousins. All right. So um, right before the break, um, we were focusing on the one, one, two, and I was teaching you guys about a strategy and a certain set of indicators that I use when using the one, one, two. Now, let me explain to you why I use those indicators, right? Because with the one, one, two and with arrow. Okay. And if you don't know what the one, one, two is, let me really quick explain. It's putting your arrow charts on the one minute. Then it's putting your, your options chart on a one minute and then your expiration time on a two minute. As y'all y'all know, I scout the market. So you drop it on a two minute. And there you go. And that is the one, one, two, right? And so pretty much what you're looking to do at this point is you are looking 
to definitely wait for a bag in a uh, bag entrance or so of a bag alert. Once you get it, you want to assess it. Now, all of the same rules apply to a bag entrance. So what that what does that mean? That means you can definitely look for if it's close to um, how close it is to the zones. Is it 20 pips close to a zone, whether a negative or positive or support or resistance? And then once you get that, boom, if it's in a good distance, you could take it. Now, does that always matter? It doesn't. But let me explain to you when it does, because um, actually, let me pull up some of these questions here that I could debunk while we're in the charts, waiting for a move to, uh, to spring about, right? So one of the things that people was having trouble with is knowing how long to jump into the trade for once they jump into the trade. Well, if you are familiar with my work or you need to be familiar, I would suggest that you go and see a back office, AP Academy. I think you see all the coaches pick me. Um, and here's the video to watch to kind of give you a fast track of all the weeks and all the days of my recordings. And it would be July 14th, 2021, two o'clock. That one, that day I'll never forget because I was so tired from doing, like going back to back to back to back. I'm, I'm, you know, I host challenges and private calls and I'm constantly giving to the community. I was so tired that I jumped on that day at two o'clock. I mean, I rushed on, right, at two o'clock just to find out that my call wasn't until six. Okay. So at two o'clock, um, I did this call and I fast tracked everything. Um, you guys know I taught correlations, divergences, um, this particular strategy that I have on the screen that I use with the one, one, two. I thought I taught about broker defense, offense, and um, trading psychology. All right. So, with that being said, hopefully, all right, bet we're not, it's not too bad. It's typically, the market to go into OTC. So if you need to uh, get fast tracked, I would definitely tell anybody who, even if you were rocking with me and you want to get caught up quickly, definitely get on and check that uh, video out. That's going to fast track you weeks. That's going to fast track you weeks. And that will allow you to kind of get into, hey, Jackie, all right, sneak in here. So that's going to fast track you weeks. And that's definitely going to put you in a position to be able to understand what is going on, um, what you're looking at, why everybody's able to do it um, the way they're able to do it, um, like with the results, like Garrett Hill be crushing it in the bag check, right? And so um, definitely check out those videos. And if you don't want to watch all of the videos, I made one video on that particular day. And again, that's July 14th, 2021 two o'clock session, all right? That's gonna fast track you and that should get you going. All right, and so, look, let's look at this chart here. This is not looking pretty, 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 not at all. Let's get GBP USD here. One, two, okay, we got the arrow there. One, two, okay. Let's see. That is not a valid bounce here will go though. Okay, there we go. I'm 
looking good. I'm looking good. I don't like that, guys. I was gonna take it, but not a fan of it. What's going on? What's going on? Let's see. How the hell do you do this? Okay. Okay, boom. Here we go. Sorry about that, guys. So what I am looking at and what I'm working is ranging. So why am I looking at this range? Well, I want to get a breakout. I'm looking at the setup for a breakout. If you know what a traditional wedge looks like, then that would be it right there. But this is a rectangular wedge. This happens a lot when you are trading the uh, options bracket, right? This happens a lot here. So let me set this up really quick and I'll explain it to you as soon as I'm done. Give me one second to be able to do it. All right. Setting up the zoom here. I'm going to make that because it's going to be a little easier on the eyes. It's done. You could be right there. You go. Slide it over. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys, so what am I doing right now? This is what I mean by marking up your chart. Like I said, this is what I mean by having arrow kind of do a lot of the work for you, and then you're marking up the chart. So what I started doing is, and what I was looking at is I'm looking at how this creates sideways consolidation, right? Um, and then it creates these sideways breakouts. Now, typically, when it's breaking out, it's breaking out in a sideways consolidation, and it's always breaking out in the trend or the opposite of the trend that it's following in. So as you see, from here to here is the actual trend, okay? So now I know that the trend overall, let me kind of squeeze that out here. I know overall in the price action trend that we're consolidating, Dating, I go to a higher time frame, like the, the day one chart, and we're in an overall downtrend in price action, right? Now, why do I keep saying downtrend in price action, and why I keep talking about price action? Because binary options move in a different um, fashion than the normal trading, right? So in normal trading, we're looking at the movements to be um along the lines of like pip counters so you're counting these pips you're like okay i am going to move at like i'm going for like 20 pips so like if we got in here we would have loved that it traveled all the way down here if we got in for the sale because that would have been a good amount of pips but in binary that's not the case in binary you're actually looking at a um you're actually looking at fractal pip movement okay so in fractal pit movement, it can move extremely fast. Now, how fast can fractal pit movement move? I'll show you. This is what fractal pit movement really looks like. Right? And right now, this chart is actually moving like molasses. But for the most part, as you can see, it's just moving sideways, right? This is the pulse of the current candle that we are on. But you can see how sporadic the movement. This little grayish blue color here is the actual movement. So let me hide the indicators and show you why it's important to understand what I'm about to show you now. This is the movement of the market. This is the actual movement, right? So when I was teaching you guys um, the, like I would call it the arrow twist or the one, one, two, and I was showing you how to use those indicators is because 
this X this is the actual price to action indicate, right? Um, and so if we were to move it back to candles, you'll see that it is actually doing all of the sporadicness of, of the actual movement of price action. That's super important. Now, let's go back to what I was initially talking about. You get this bounce zero go, how long or when are you supposed to take the actual uh, trade for? Well, you want to take the actual trade for depending on what you're looking, when the bounce zero go happened and what you're looking for. Now, if it happened off of the trend, you know you're looking for a two to five minute move in whatever direction it's going in. So let's say the bounce zero go would have happened, right? Since the market is kind of like at a standstill for the moment, I'll kind of teach you some little dirty little secrets that I use personally, right? So let's just say here is a zone right there. Let's go into here. Let's create us. Let's create another zone here. Perfect. Let's just say here is another zone. All right, so we have our zones. We got our resistant loan we, zone. We have our support zone. All right. Now let's go into the. Let's go into making our little fictitious arrow on here. Let's say the arrow now happened. I don't like this one here. I don't like that one. Let's try this again. Let's go trend line. Here we go. Let's say it actually happened on this arrow. This, this was our arrow and boom. All right, here we go. And I zoom in a little bit. Okay, so we would have got the bounce off here. Here's your bounce. This would have been your arrow and then you would have went, okay? Now, off of trend, you know, if off of your trend line, you can take a move for two to five minutes, right? And off of your price action, you can take it for 30 seconds to two minutes. I'll say that again. If you're trading off a trend, which is this blue zigzag, two to five minutes. Off your price action, 30 seconds to two minutes. Why is that? Well, let's go into the settings of it, right? The settings you'll see is a five, 12, and three. Well, the zigzag's movement is depicted on the deviation right, which is the very first number. What does that mean? That means that typically it will take about five candles, five candles for the movement of the zigzag to even happen, right? Now, is that all the time? No, that's not all the time, but that's the majority of the time. It takes about five candles to do it, right? So we're going to say on average. And then here with price action, Let's kind of mute the blue one. The deviation is one. So what does that mean? It's going to take about one candle for the switch. Now, here's the beauty of it. If it's too close to the zones, if it's not full 20 pips, now what you want to do is you want to start looking at lessening your expiration time. All right. Well, let's move you out the way here. Now you want to look at lessening your expiration time. So what's what do I mean by lessening my expiration time? Well, the strategy calls for two to five minutes, right? So that should actually be on the two. The strategy calls for two to five minutes. But now if it's not 20 pips close to the zone and one candle can basically at any time, a good one of these could get all the way down here. Well, that could kind of ruin things because it could hit the zone and be rejected by it and send you right back on your way, right past your entry, going opposite way. That's how options move. So what are we looking to do? Well, what we'll be looking to do is breaking it down to scout move, right? And so like for here, as you can see, this candle is riding on this blue line. It's right here on top of it. The blue line is right here on top of it, but nowhere near this yellow line, right? Yellow zigzag. So with that being said, you would be taking this for a two to five minutes. So if you got in on this candle, and let's say you would have gotten in, 
Let's use this horizontal line as our entry. Get out of the way so you can see it. You just use this horizontal line as our entry. You would have got in at the open of this candle for two minutes. And let's see if we can zoom in. You would have got an open, which would have been on this candle, two minutes. So let's raise you up just a tad. We're going to say it's about right there. You would have got in. Okay. Now, with that being said, you would have got in. And this would have been one. This would have been two. And you probably would have won. It would have been really hairy. But because of how thin this candle is, it's hard to tell. You may well, actually you might have lost that one, but then you might have won it. It's kind of on a fence. I'll tell you why. It went through. So depending on the close or opening, basically depending on when this arrow popped up and when you actually got in, it depicts it. That's that really matters. And that's the thing about options. The thing about options is that every second counts. You can't play around. So a lot of you have been asking me, well, what do I, am I supposed to do? How do I like do I cipher through different? Um, different pairs. Do I bounce through them? No, stick to one pair, but stick to a pair that fits your trading style. Don't jump onto a pair that has high volatility. And you know, because it has high volatility, that it's going to, um, 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 like if you know it has high volatility and that's not your thing, I would say definitely don't jump into that, right? Why? Because you're not going to be able to handle the rate. So if GJ is moving, but you like trading these molasses moving pairs, stick to what you know. Stick to the molasses moving pairs, okay? Um, that's very, very, very important, okay? But like I said, again, this is the trend. So you could take a move from two minutes to five minutes. So for those who like longer trades, if you would have taken that for five minutes, you would have definitely won. Um, have you would have taken it for two minutes, Again, same bracket, all right? So now, let's go into the one minute here because this was the D1, but I just kind of wanted to show it to you based off of how it was looking, right? If the candlesticks is on the trend line or so, then guess what? You're trading off the trend. Look for the two to five minutes. If it's on price action, look for the 30 seconds to two minutes. So let's drop down now to our one minute. See if we can catch one in real time, right? Right now, I wouldn't trade none of this jazz, this jazz because it is ranging really bad. The only thing that you can do in this position when it is ranging is you need to know exactly what trend it is. So obviously, arrow will let you know if it's an uptrend or a downtrend. And the only thing that I would personally do is I would only scalp, and my scalp would be thirty seconds. My scout would probably be 30 seconds. Okay. That's what I would do. But like I said, look at the charts. Look at how the chart is moving. This is what the candlesticks is doing. And let's peek at, let's kind of peek at what it's doing. Let's peek at what, what it's doing in the line chart. And like I said, this is some special sauce that I'm kind of sharing, we'll give me a little sneak peek of what's ahead and what we'll be able to do. Like just showing you how we can push arrow to the limits and get some of the best results. So I'm just gonna peek at this GU and look at that. This is not even worth tr trading right here, okay? Why? Because look at the movement. This is a dead candle if I've ever seen one. It's literally at 1.38374, and here's your drop. That's it. That's all it's doing. Now, some people like to trade this way. And if that's you, then stick to what you know. What is going on over here? Let's see. Uh, look at Jackie. Line chart, yes. Hold on really quick. Uh, Uh, hey guys, I heard you dropping some gems here. Then, oh yeah, I am. I'm doing. I'm, I'm trying to do what I could do when I could do it the way I'm allowed to do it, and that's that. All right. So 
Now, as you can see, guys, I am looking at pulse. I am looking at candle movement and size. And I'm looking at the range. Like, so now I can show you what the range looks like once you break it into the lines. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this rollout is going to be phenomenal. This rollout is going to be phenomenal. So, but I, 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 you know, I got to share a little sauce with the cousins. So, like this. Here we go. Look at how it's ranging. Look at that. That's beautiful. That is beautiful. We know that it's not going no further than 1.38378. Uh, and we know it's not dropping no lower than what is this right here? Oh, we got a breakout. Oh, that's good. We got a breakout here. Let's see. It might not be a strong breakout, though. It might just be kind of peeking his head out to see what's out there and then dropping back down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over just to see what it does if it comes back down. OK, and that's what it looks like it's going to do. But all right. So remember, guys, whenever you get your valid bounce arrow go off the blue line, we're looking at five two to five minutes off the yellow line, off the yellow zigzag, 30 seconds to two minutes. Now, for all my newbies, I want to talk to y'all for a quick second, okay? Because you're probably like, all right, I'm still lost. I don't know what's going on. Well, I'm going to run through this really quickly for you, but it's going to be clear and, and pretty concise for you. So this is that arrow with a twist or the one one two strategy. And again, that's when your arrow chart is on one minute, your options chart is on one minute, and you are trading a two-minute expiration time. All right? Go through the indicators for you one more time. Now, the beautiful part about arrow is that it's already pre-drawn up for you. So that's gorgeous right there. Um, and... With this strategy, in order for you to, oh, really quick, defensive, guys. Somebody didn't remind me. Always check your defenses. It's almost like checking your rear view mirrors, right? Defensive trading is just as strong and just as impactful as offensive trading. So what does defensive trading look like? It's making sure that you go over all the things necessary to stop the broker from being able to manipulate your trade so that way you can win more than you lose because we're not going for running up a bag based on, all right, I got a hundred dollars. I'm gonna get it to $150. Then I'm gonna get it to $300. Then I'm gonna get it to, no, that's not how we trade. That's not how we trade with Cousin Cash, not at all. We do ATM trading over here. What does ATM stand for guys? Always their money, ATM trading, okay? So what does that mean? Let's Let's look over here to the left. As you can see, I got the GBP USD pair up. I got Auto Germany, and then boom, I got a triple di triple digit millisecond. What is that about? Come on with that, right? That's either a slow internet or a silver a server malfunction or a broker manipulated move. Hmm? And all brokers do it right now. If you have MT4. You can go into your MT4 and you can actually change your milliseconds. And when you change your milliseconds, it allows you to get on top of the move faster. And if, remember what I told you about options, it's every second count. So now when you have a high millisecond, that means you're behind the move. So what do you do to fix that? Well, you go here, you notice that you're in triple digits, you click this down arrow. You'll notice down here, it says auto connect. Let's cut that off. Let's go on ahead and find our lowest millisecond. For me, that's 48. And do you see how the chart just did that little flash move? Because what it did is just sped me up to as current as possible, right? Now, let me show you something else. Let's just say I needed a shorter time millisecond than that. Let's just say it was all triple digits. Well, you can go to this arrow up here and look. When I clicked it, it refreshed it looking for 
a shorter time frame and, and a shorter millisecond. And here we are. I got 35. 35 is good. All right. Now, it's not a whole lot different from 44 milliseconds to 35. But what it is, is it's a great way to know that you are on top of the move. The brokers do not much manipulate the charts because they can get in trouble, but they can manipulate how it's displayed. Now, it has to be clear and concise. This information is the same information that you would get on your trading view, the same information you would get on your arrow, your MT4. It's the same exact information, okay? But what happens is, at that point is, now you begin to look at a few things, right? If they know that they can manipulate how it's displayed, then there has to be a way to fix it, right? Because they'll get in trouble. So this is where you're using your broker defensive strategies. Let me make sure that my charts all look the way it's supposed to. A case in point, me personally, I always go into this H1. This was pretty much, I don't, the only thing I could think of that makes sense, and this is just my personal opinion, is that this is here to confuse you. Do you know why? Because this H1 is supposed to only show 60 candles. But I'm pretty sure if we count, this is probably not 60 candles, right? This is giving you the view that if it was on an H1 chart, this is what it would look like, right? But people get this mixed up. They get this mixed up with this and get this mixed up with this. And so, no, we're on the M1 time frame. This is just a poor UX design or it's broker manipulation, right? Because let's say it looks like this. Let me show you what just happened. If you look to the left, it dropped my time frame down to 10 seconds. Who are you fooling? Okay. Watch out because a multitude of brokers do this because they cannot manipulate the actual chart, but they have to make money. So if you are on your defensive strategy, then you can be successful at actually trading options extremely well, right? Knowing what they can do to you is more information that they want you to know. <laughs> they don't want you to know that. They want you to take your strategy, get in the charts in, click here, here, here. Arrow is a phenomenal tool. I use it every day. I use it to kill the market, but here's the thing. I also keep in mind my defensive strategy has to be just as sharp as my offensive strategy. And then I can't become frustrated by what I know they can do to me because then that will ruin my trading psychology, right? So you see how you have to have those three elements to be able to even trade options the proper way. Now, with the, with the time we got left, let me go into the strategy setup. Now, going into the strategy setup, I'm going to put a star next to the moving average, next to my zigzag, and next to my stochastic. This and arrow makes for a beautiful payday. Now, past performance does not predict future profit. I get it. But wait a minute, pause. I just got that right. Shout out to Lopes because energy feeds. Uh, he would say energy, but yeah, he had to be there. Anyway, so. The moving average, the double zigzag, and the stochastic oscillator, right? Making that work with arrow. So for all my newbies, this is how you're going to do it. We put those stars next to them three, so they're in our favorites. And now let's click on them. Let's put the two zigzags up there. Let's put the one moving average up there, and let's put the stochastic up there. All right? Now, let's change our settings. We're going to keep the first one, 5, 12, and 3, into the, make it blue, make it four pixels. Perfect, right? Why we make it four pixels? Because when the yellow zigzag still happens, decide to ride trend, you can see that blue halo around the yellow one indicating that it's actually riding trend. Now, with the second zigzag, let's flatten it out. Deviation one, and I taught you guys about deviation and what it does. Step one and back step one. All right. And we'll leave the settings the way it is and we'll save it. Let's go into our moving average here. Let's make that a 62. Hi, y'all. Let's go into the EMA. Make that purple. 
and two pixels. All right, just so we know what it is. Also, that way, if y'all hit me up saying cash, where did I mess up at? I can be able to identify your chart and say, hey, cuz, this is what you might have wanted to do, might have wanted to do. We're going to our K period. We'll make it 17, and we'll make this an exponential moving average. Here we go. Really simple. This is going to help you out a lot. And if you follow my video, any of my videos, or the July 14th, 2021, 2 o'clock session, it's going to help you take care of the rest. All right? Now, really quick, the blue zigzag is your trend zigzag. It models after the trend of the market. Okay? Watch the videos for further for further detail, but just know that it models after the trend of the market. The yellow one models after the price action in the market, right? Basically the buy and the sell, the buy and the sell, right? Okay. Now, the moving average here is one of the secrets of the secret sauce. I'm telling you, this moving average is beautiful. It's the 62, all right? Anything above the 62, you're looking for buys predominantly. Not to say you can't take sales above the 62, but that's what you're looking for. Anything below the 62, you are looking for sales. Not to say you can't take buys, but you're predominantly looking for sales. It takes typically about 10 strong touches before it penetrates. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's look at this. Even though it got through, it went right back down. Almost every time. Strong candle up, strong candle down. Wick, 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 stayed down for a while. Right? Got through, got pulled back down. Got up. Now we're looking at this uptrend and look what it's trying to do. Get back down. It shot through here. Now it's back up. This is a very strong moving average. Okay? So that keeps you along with the arrow moving average on the right side of the tree. Now, this stochastic. This stochastic is a major part because what's happening is it monitors your trend movement and your price action. Is price going above a certain point, below a certain point, and is it overbought or oversold? As you can see, price action is becoming overbought, right? That doesn't mean trend is overbought. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there's obviously more buyers than there are sellers at this current time. Okay. Now here's a dirty sequence. Ready? Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Check this out. Anything, anytime with options, it's overbought is a good time to start looking for the drop. Now I know that's rule of thumb normally, but here's what you don't know. It always has to become overbought to make a major move or a major trend change. I'll say that again. Always has to be overbought, right, to make a major trend change. Vice versa with the oversold. So it has to go overbought or it has to be oversold in order for it to make the move that you really want to take. So when you're looking to take that bounce arrow go, man, if you could catch it when it's oversold, so, oh my goodness, that's when you'll learn about the compounding and the over leveraging. I'll teach you guys how to compound properly with your trading so that we don't over leverage. But let's be all the way real. If you cannot afford to lose any dollar that you put into the market, you have already over leveraged. Sorry, hate to be the burden of bad news, but you'll get over it, cuz. I love you to death. It is 7.03. That is my time. I will see you guys tomorrow at 6 o'clock where you have the strategy. You guys have the archive. Let's dig into some trades, right? That's what we came to do. But I just wanted to say to all my family, I love every last one of you guys. Let me check the chat really quick. And shout out to you guys for being like so cool about it. Gareth said, that was one of my questions. How can we change the milliseconds? I hope you got that answer because I went over that part because no doubt. I love each and every one of you. I'm so glad that you guys are still rocking and rolling and the best is yet to come. I promise you 
with this AP Live rollout, there's going to be so much content from me and so much content on options. You will never have to Google or YouTube a thing again as long as you are with the company. With that being said, hey, man, by all means, man, be successful, be great. I am out of here. How do you exit this recording? Do I hit that? Do I end the meeting? I don't know. I'm done. Hey, that's the button. Peace, y'all. Thank you.